What do the best camera phones have to offer? In recent years, manufacturers have worked tirelessly to develop handsets with more lenses, larger sensors, and AI-powered enhancements that help produce crisper, more vibrant images. But choosing the right camera phone for you depends on a number of factors, including operating system, special features, and how much you're willing to spend. So in this video, we will discuss top 10 highest quality camera phones in 2023. Let's start. Number 10, iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. These both models are stunning camera phones, each packing a 12 megapixels main sensor, a 12 megapixels ultra wide, and a 12 megapixels telephoto with 3x optical zoom. Low light performance particularly amazed us in our tests, and that's something that iPhones are known for, but whatever type of shot you're aiming for, the iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max should be able to do it justice. Apple's smart AI optimization is also out in force here, with the deep fusion used to tweak your pictures to make them as wonderful as possible. The new photographic styles feature and cinematic mode are also amazing, though we suspect they might not be massively used by most buyers. But with portrait mode, the return of Pro Raw, and a great point-and-shoot experience, the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max are photography beasts. Number 9. Google Pixel 6a Google's affordable alternative, the Google Pixel 6a, comes out top when it comes to the best cheap camera phone. On paper, specs seem modest. A dual rear camera with a 12.2 megapixels main lens and 12 megapixels ultra wide. However, Google's signature powerful image processing means that the Pixel 6a regularly delivers results that rival those from more expensive flagships. Its portrait mode is skilled at distinguishing the subject from the background blur, and it does a job of keeping skin looking natural and not overly smoothed. Number 8. Xiaomi 12 Pro The Xiaomi 12 Pro has a camera setup that's easy to remember, as the rear houses a trio of 50 megapixel sensors. This uses a Sony IMX707 sensor, which is larger than the sensors in even most top-end smartphones and results in shots full of depth, detail, sharpness, and natural colors. The ultra-wide snapper has a smaller sensor, but is still capable of accurate color capture and a wide 115-degree field of view. Finally, the 2x optical zoom snapper is fine at that range, but 2x leads it behind the optical reach of many rival phones. Still, optical zoom can make up for that. Still, video capture is strong with decent stabilization, kicking in even at 8K resolution. Number 7. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 If you long for the days when flip phones were the standard, there's the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. As the name suggests, this is the fourth iteration of this foldable smartphone, and Samsung has continued to make the right tweaks in order to produce the lightest and thinnest fold phone yet. There are five cameras spread around the Z Fold 4, three on the back, a selfie camera in the front display, and then another in the inner display. This is a camera phone aimed more at productivity and hybrid working than photography, but there's some smart software to get good use out of the cameras. When we got hands-on with the Z Fold 4, we also found that its foldability allows it to work as its own tripod in a way. And if you open it up while taking a shot, you can give subjects a preview by duplicating your viewfinder to the front display. Number 6. Oppo Find X5 Pro The Oppo Find X5 Pro has been one of the most talked about top-end smartphones this year and mostly because of its camera, thanks to help from Swedish camera manufacturer Hasselblad. There's a 32 megapixels selfie on the front and three lenses on the back, a main 50 megapixels with a super-fast aperture, an ultra-wide angle 50 megapixels camera, and a 13 megapixels telephoto lens. The two main lenses are fantastic with great vivid colors, and the low apertures allow fast shots. The telephoto lens is less megapixels, with only a 2x zoom. The new Marisilicon X Neural Processing Unit applies imaging algorithms, right on raw data to noise reduction in low light, for photos and 4K video. Meanwhile, Hasselblad's filters that can add a film-like quality to the most images. Number 5. OnePlus 10 Pro 
The OnePlus 10 Pro boasts a good-looking body, a stunning screen, and stacks of power. It's a great phone that also gives you value for money. While the 48 megapixels primary camera is awesome in many areas, photos are processed with great optimization and look rich, detail is fair, and the ultra-wide field of view is stellar. Like color inconsistency between the rear-facing cameras and the ultra-wide snapper's lack of autofocus, the ultra-wide camera is useful too. The lens is actually a super-wide one used for fisheye shots, but if you want normal ultra-wide snaps, it's cropped quite a bit. With 3.3x optical zoom, the OnePlus beats other phones with its range, though the 8-megapixel sensor might leave a bit to be desired. Number 4. Sony Xperia 1.4 Sony's been putting out some great cameras, so you would hope for good things from its camera phones, and the fourth-generation Xperia 1 doesn't disappoint. The zoom camera on the Xperia has a moving lens, which facilitates continuous optical zoom between 3.5x and 5.2x, giving the phone an edge for people who like zoom photography. The phone also supports a physical shutter button, which can be partially depressed to find focus or fully pressed to take a picture, giving a camera-esque experience that can be useful in certain situations, such as when you want to focus and wait for the perfect moment for the shot. Meanwhile, for the first time on a Sony phone, you can record 4K and 120 FPS footage on any of the three rear cameras and one on the front, which is useful for videographers and bloggers. Number 3. Google Pixel 7 Pro The Google Pixel 7 Pro takes amazing photos with ease, night and day, but it also takes the photo experience further than ever before. It actually made our photos from older phones look better. For now, that's something you can only do with a Tensor G2-enabled phone like the Pixel 7 Pro. The Pixel 7 Pro captures better, literally. It doesn't just make photos better, it makes them clearer and more inclusive using real tone technology to enhance skin tones. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra this phone remains the reigning best camera phone because of its incredible versatility. It packs so many lenses and features into the camera that there is no photo it can't shoot. Other phones may produce slightly better images in some situations, but the Galaxy S22 Ultra can handle every situation well, from close-ups to night photos to ultra-zoom distances. This phone offers a vast array of lenses. These include two 10-megapixels telephoto lenses, there's also a 12 megapixels ultra wide, and then there's the 108 megapixels main wide camera. There are 3x and 10x zoom lenses with real optical zoom, giving you more clarity at distance. Samsung has also pulled off a remarkable feat with its digital zoom enhancement. You can take real photos with less pixelation that are great for sharing. Number 1. iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max Apple's iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max both use the same cameras, the main difference between them is the screen size. Both phones have a 48 megapixels main camera joined by a 12 megapixels ultra-wide and 12 megapixels telephoto which supports up to 3x zoom. There's also a front camera with a resolution of 12 megapixels. Apple's cameras shine in their AI processing which can tweak images to make the most of them, as well as the dynamic range they offer. They're also great for video recording with a few fun modes like focus pulling to help you record cinematic shots. We've also found low light photography reliably great on iPhones, 
with the large sensor second to none for nighttime shots. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates and notifications.